Hola friends, welcome to the Medicine, Marriage and Money YouTube channel, the only channel for physicians who want to achieve marital interdependence and financial freedom together. On this channel, you will learn how to show up as the best version of yourself so that you can love intentionally and build a more financially savvy relationship with your spouse. And I am your host, a physician mom, a doctor's wife, a Gottman leader, a certified life and marriage coach, Dr. Kate Mangona. Welcome, bienvenidos. do for you? Let me give you an example. Have you ever wanted to do something, do something big, do something small, and you were too scared? Or maybe you just thought you would fail right before you even tried. So you stopped yourself, you held back, you didn't do it. Um, maybe you really want to get to that next level in your relationship and you're avoiding the topic because you know that you're going to feel upset or frustrated when the other person responds, like you're setting yourself up for that failure. Whatever it is you want to do, think of something you've been wanting to do, but haven't done it because something is preventing you from doing it. Okay. We're already halfway through the year. We're almost halfway through July. Think back about those things you said in January. Now, I'm not a huge New Year's resolution person. I, I believe in lifelong goals. I believe in the lifelong journey. But was there something you said, you know, this year, 2023, it's going to be different. This is going to be year of Kate Mangona, insert your name. Uh, what was that? For my daughter, my five-year-old daughter, this was going to be the summer she jumped off the high dive. This was the summer she actually jumped off the diving board for the first time in her life because she could swim, although the length, the short length of the pool, the big pool without assistance and without goggles from one into the other. Uh, and how she did it was a lot of practice, right? A lot of lessons and a lot of practice. And so jumping off the diving board was not a problem for her. Jumping off the high dive, it's different. Raise your hand if you've ever jumped off the diving board and jumped off the high dive, stood on top of that high dive and looked down. There's a big difference, right? When you're looking down from both the either the low dive and the high dive. So she would climb up there. She started climbing up there last month, beginning of June. And she's done it a handful of times. She does it every other time we go to the pool. We're at the pool all the time, right? You guys, we live in Texas, y'all. It is hot. It's 100 degrees normally on a good day. So we're at the pool if we're not working. And so she would she climbs up to the high dive and she looks down. And then she backs up. She slowly backs up. And I will tell you, for the entire month of June, I was that mom. I was that mom who's supportive, who said, yes, I know, it's scary. We're going to build up your confidence and we're going to get it next time. You know, And I just allowed her. I allowed her to be scared. I shared in her fears. I jumped in the pool, if you will. Yes, that is a mom pun. I jumped in the pool with her. And I did that the whole month of June. And till Friday, two days ago, I'm recording this on a Monday. Friday, I looked up at her and I had just finished coaching a couple clients earlier that week. And I'm like, wait a second, well, I'm a coach. Like I've been a mom to her. I am her mom. What if I coached her through this? And I, it took me a month to put this hat on because I'm so used to being her mom, right? So I put my coach hat on. She climbed back down the long stairs off the high dive and she came over to me. And I said, let's talk about this. I said, tell me, what are you feeling when you get to the top of that high dive and you look down and you look in the water and she said she she couldn't name it right now if you've ever had a coach or been coached or even been in therapy or counseling when they ask about your feelings for some people and i will say most of my clients it's hard especially 
physicians, for us to name our feelings, we're used to masking our feelings and just kind of going through and doing the thing. So she couldn't name it right away. So I said, okay, what are you thinking? And she's like, well, the water, it's so deep. You know, daddy said that you go much deeper off the high dive. You go much deeper. I was like, ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause you're jumping from a higher depth, right? And daddy's thinking about the physics of it all and explained to Shil, so she'll be prepared, right? And then I realized that's what's preventing her from jumping. It's because she knows she's going to go much deeper and she's afraid of going much deeper than the regular diving board because she's never done it before. And the much deeper to her, she doesn't know what that means. It's just like a nebulous concept. And so I explained to her, I said, okay, Look at the bottom of that pool. The high diving board's right next to the low diving board. So they're right next to each other. The depth of the pool is actually the same when you jump off the high dive and when you jump off the low dive. The depth is the same. You can go a little bit deeper, but you can't go endlessly deeper because the pool ends. And then you're going to float right back up like you did when you jumped off the low dive. It's going to be the same. And then you're going to swim to the end. She said, okay, okay. So, you know, she had kind of admitted she was afraid without actually saying fear. And I love to add this with all my clients. So I said, okay, daughter, Shinola, it's okay to be scared. It's actually normal to be scared. And I want you to be scared and do it anyway. And who tells you that? Like, be scared and do it anyway. It's supposed to be there. It's supposed to propel you. So I gave her the speech. She, she gets there. She gets to the bottom of the high dive and they blow the whistle, my friends. They blow the whistle for the 10 minute adult swim only break. Ah, and we were supposed to leave. I'm like, we're not leaving. We just finished a coaching session. We're going to watch this happen. So we waited the 10 minutes. Not a second after they blew the whistle, 10 minutes later for adult swim end to end, adult swim time to end, she climbed off that board and she ran off the high dive. Not a second. And she jumped, ran and jumped. Not a minute of hesitation. I videotaped it, y'all. You're going to get to see it. That is what coaching can do for you. It can get you past your fears. Well, first of all, it, it gets you to recognize what your fears are. And maybe they're not fears. Maybe they're frustrations. Maybe they're annoyances. Maybe it's anger. Maybe it's resentment. It gets to the bottom of whatever your emotion is. And then it asks you, okay, what's preventing you from getting to the next step? And not just any random next step, not the next step your mom or your dad's telling you to do or your husband or your wife or your spouse or even your coworker. No, it's getting you to the next step you want to be. It's getting you to the next place you want to be living, to the next journey, to the next whatever path you choose. That's where it's getting you to. So if you've ever told yourself, I want to be here in a month and you're not, or I want to be here in a year and you're not, and you're beating yourself up, get a coach. Okay. And now you're like, hey, you're, this sounds like high performance. Yes, I could do high performance coaching. A coach can coach on anything, right? I love coaching relationships and I love coaching on marriage because as if you're listening to Medicine, Mar Marriage and Money on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my, my podcast, my YouTube, you are seeing, right? I talk a lot about relationships because life is made up of relationships and without the people that we surround ourselves in our life, to me, it's just not worth it. So I choose to surround myself with those people, right? So whatever it is, think of that goal you want to get to. Okay? Think about that challenge that you've signed yourself up for, but you haven't crossed that line yet. Maybe it's even in your own marriage. Maybe it's something you really want for you, your kids, for your spouse, and you just haven't spoken about it yet. Maybe your goal is to be happier, to find more joy, to find less irritation. And something is preventing you from getting there. And you know what you need to do, right? It's like 
as physicians, as healthcare professionals, we, we, do, we have the blueprint for everything, right? For We have the SOP, the standing operating procedures. We have the, the checklists. We have these, but we just don't do it. Why? Because we're holding ourselves back. We hold ourselves back from greatness and we do this in our relationships and we do this in our relationships with our most important and most loving people, including ourselves, our spouses, our kids. So let me get you to that next level. If you need that, be my daughter. And I hope you could actually use this analogy of jumping off the high dive in your life today. Use it today, please. If this helps you today to go achieve that next step, to feel fear, feel the fear and jump and do it anyway. Yes, we're winning. I'm winning. You're winning. We're all winning. And share it with a friend so that they go and jump off the high dive too. So my friends, with that, I am going to leave you with this. Make a list of the three things that you want to accomplish by the end of the year, because you have five and a half months left, a little bit more than five and a half months left, y'all. And it is the dead of, it is the peak of, of summer. It's time to get going, relax, have fun, be at the cabana, have your drink and accomplish your goals in your relationships, in your professional, in your personal, in your self relationships, do it. Serve this, write those list of three things. Then under each of those three things, write what's preventing you from already being there. Three things for each of those three things. So now you should have a list of nine things. Then I want you to do solution. Write your solution under each of those obstacles that's preventing you from doing the thing. So now you're going to have the list of three preventive Things, obstacles under each goal, your three goals, and then a solution for each one of those. Okay, that's just the beginning. If you want more help, reach out to me. I am available for coaching. I just had a few people uh, finish their journey with me for now, and I am open. I'm open to have a few more lovely people join me. And yes, Love Lab MD will be opening in August. So stay tuned for that. So much love, my friends. And DM me, PM me, I'm here. So much love to you and your spouse. If you are finding the concepts I teach in these episodes useful and want more in-depth and personalized support for your relationship, consider this your invitation to join me in creating the most connected and intimate relationship with your spouse that you could dream of. Go to www.medicine marriageandmoney.com right now and download my 18 page medical marriage survival guide and workbook at no cost to you. I also have a six day marriage challenge, which goes over the six predictors of divorce at no cost to you. These have been known to decrease fighting, rumination and grudges between you and your loved one. If you want to take it a step farther, really enhance the joy and connection in the most intimate relationship in your life, Sign up for my eight-week Making Marriage Work program today at medicinemarriageandmoney.com. Thanks for leaving us a stellar review, subscribing, and sharing with your friends on social media. You have the power to improve someone else's life and marriage simply by sharing this episode. Much love to you and your spouse. You're exactly where you need to be in this moment. Adios, my friends. The content of this episode is not intended to be a substitute for professional, medical, or financial advice. The opinions provided on this episode are for are those of myself or the invited guest alone. They do not represent the opinions of any particular institution. Always seek the advice of your physician or financial advisor with any questions you may have of a medical condition or financial plan. This is for your entertainment only.